What's up, guys? I'm Chris Killian, and with me right now, I have the legendary announcer for Price is Right, Mr. George Gray. This is the 50-year anniversary of Price is Right, so you guys are embarking on this huge nationwide tour. Tell me a little bit about that. First of all, I just want to kind of, let's not gloss over the word legendary. Wasn't that nice? Didn't that feel good? Thank you for saying that. that was, I meant it, too. Here's your 20. Um, 50th anniversary tour, 50 stops across the country, and I told them, I actually volunteered to do this. I said, hey, why don't I do the big stops along the way? So I was uh, at the Santa Monica Pier, I was in Denver, I couldn't make Dallas, uh, and then New Orleans here, then I'll be in St. Louis, Cleveland, New York, so it's really fun. That's a busy schedule. So I got to say, it's kind of like I'm, I'm fanboying out a little bit right now because like you're the guy that says, come on down. Like that's probably the most iconic line in all of television game show history. So you've been with Price is Right for like uh, uh, 10 years now, right? Or, or 11 years, something like that? Oh, didn't read the bio, huh? <laughs> um, I've actually been on, the, I'm working on my 12th year now. My first day, well, I mark my, my anniversary, the very first show that I ever did and that was uh, November 18th 2010 and they each one of us there were six of us that got uh, 20 episodes to basically an on-air audition right. and uh, Jerry uh, 20 episodes each and then they would decide who to pick and so that was my very first episode and just the adrenaline rush and everything so uh, so yeah I'm working on my 12th year now yeah, so how surreal was it to be able to say come on down in front of a live studio audience that very first time can you kind of walk me through that experience it's actually still surreal it's it's weird it's you know I grew up with the prices right I guarantee you have a story about when you were a kid with a grandparent or you know missing school someday. Even John, who's shooting this, I guarantee has stories about the price, but we all do. And uh, and I I just remember as a little kid, I remember sitting on my Nana's lap and, and watching the show with her and her tickling my back with a corner of the TV guide. And now I say, come on down and it's a new car and it's weird. It's fun. It's great. it's great. It's so wild. And speaking of that, you're right. I mean, we all do have that history. And I, I remember in 2015, I think it was April Fool's Day, Bob Barker actually came back to do And you got to do a show with the Bob Barker. Like, what was that like? Yes. What was interesting is Bob said that everybody would always ask him to say, come on down or it's a new car. And he said, you know, I, I don't say those things. I've never said those things. And he had never said them on camera and until he did that show and he actually stood next to me at the podium he called somebody down and he actually said to to one person it's a new car and it was really cool to get to see him do something he's never done on the show that's so amazing all right before i go walk me around some of these games let's let's play some games let's do that okay here we go so chris we're at the plinko board right now and uh people that come down to the, that come on down uh, today get to uh, drop a Plinko chip and I'm gonna let you do it so I want to explain a little bit and now for Plinko it's kind of a math thing and there's a lot of nerds online that have looked statistically on where to drop it and I can't tell you what to do because it's a game show right so I can just tell you I'm gonna grab the chips we got a couple chips back here these are real Plinko chips very heavy hold them in your hand so you're gonna I'll give you two chances to drop okay and uh, you can drop it anywhere you want uh, but you're trying to get in the middle but you can drop it anywhere you want up on top, but you're trying to get it in the middle. But anywhere you want up on top. I have no clues. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not doing No, that. anywhere you want. Seriously. Drops it not in the middle, and it's zero. You know what, though? But I have admiration for you. Okay, come on. Get this now. Anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. Anywhere. <laughs> Here, you know what? I'm going to try it. And again, this, they're just set up. It's like, no go. So I'll just go, let's see, I'll just randomly go here. Try that. See what that does. <laughs> All right, Chris Killian, come on down. It's time to spin the big wheel. I can do it. I can do it. Whatever advice you have for me, I'm going to listen this time. Okay, my advice is to get a dollar. Okay, get a dollar. That's okay, okay. Big advice. So what you're gonna do is you see the little hooks over here, and you're just get. It's a very heavy wheel. You're gonna give it a spin. I'm gonna give you two spins to get a dollar. All right. I've been lifting my whole life for this, so it's gonna be good. Gun show. Check it out. Would you like to say hi to anybody? Uh, hi, Colby. How you doing? That's my son. Hi, Colby. Okay. Looks like you are. I don't know if it's gonna get all the way around. You're going to start off with, could be a 65, could be a 10. Ooh, a power 10. All right, get a 90. This is for Colby. I can do it. I'm going to do it. Go get him. 
Okay. Starting off with a whopping 10. Maybe didn't work out as much as he thought he did. Here we go. There's the 90. We need to get to the 90 again. It might have the right amount of steam. It might be. Oh, let's get to the 80. No way. You, uh. Well, technically, he can say that he hit a dollar on the wheel. All right, there you go, guys. Price is Right is traveling all across the nation right now. So if you're in the area, uh, comicbook.com. Come on down!